PDP presidential candidate for the 2019 election, Atiku Abubakar, has restated his commitment to the development of the country's creative industry. Speaking at a chat with creative industry practitioners in Lagos, the presidential candidate told them that if he is elected, he will appoint them to head all government agencies in the creative sector. I am totally committed, totally committed to supporting the industry to make it a big supplier of prosperity. On their part, the PDP vice presidential candidate Peter Obi and Senate President Bukola Saraki assured the attendees that Atiku Abubakar will keep to his promises. Going forward, you can see that you're very critical. When I look at it today, you're the second biggest employer in Nigeria. He's going to put money in this, he's going to support it, and I'm sure what he will do, and it's going to be a win win. So if there's anybody who can they promise and deliver. It is candidate article. This is what we're waiting for, this kind of partnership that we can make Nigeria feel better. He has made his commitment. I believe, truly believe he will do it, not because he's doing it for you, he's doing it for the country and he's doing it for what he believes in. The executive director of Silverbed Group, Jared Murray Bruce, who joined other discussants to make presentation on the impact of Nollywood on the Nigerian economy, highlighted some of the challenges facing the creative industry and ways governments can address them. It is very much possible if we have the support of uh, the government and all stakeholders, uh, particularly in, uh, in the area of financing, um, as mentioned earlier, most retail banks do not fully support the creative industry by uh, having finance options available, especially at low interest rates. Give us the tax deductions for people to come here and make films. We have some of the most beautiful locations. You go to Bielsa, we have the longest coastline. You go to Joss, we have the, the same coastline that you have in Cape Town. But there is no incentive for any filmmaker to come to Nigeria to shoot a film. Some practitioners also aired their views on the chat with the presidential aspirant. Everybody came here not for, any, for money or for anything because there was nothing like that. People just came to hear them out and everybody's happy. People are very optimistic because they didn't speak like politicians. They spoke from their hearts. 